This screencast is one in a series on process calculations, and the title is Solving Systems of Algebraic Equations. The content is Systems of Linear Algebraic Equations, Matrix Notation, Analytical Solutions, Numerical Solutions, Some Demonstrations, Solutions Involving the MATLAB Workspace, Solving Using an M-File, and Using the M MATLAB Function F-Solve. Thereafter, there will be a section on nonlinear algebraic equations in matrix notations and a demonstration as well. Here is a system of linear algebraic equations. 3x1 plus 4x2 equals 10. That is the first equation. And the second equation is x1 minus x2 equals 2. In matrix notation, this becomes ax minus y, where A is the coefficient matrix, 3 and 4 represent the first equation, 1 minus 1 represents the second equation. We also have the variables, the x's, x1 and x2 in the column vector, and the right-hand side of the equation in the column vector y, 10 and 2. For the equation system AX equals Y, the solution is X equals the inverse of A times Y. And for this matrix, coefficient matrix 3 and 4 in the first equation and the second equation 1 minus 1, the inverse becomes A minus 1 equals, and you see the uh, coefficient matrix here. Thus, we get the solution X, that is X1 and X2, equals the inverse of a times y and that equals for x1 2.5714 and for x2 0 0.5714. Here we also see the linear nature of linear systems. If we double y we get values of x1 and x2 that are twice as high. If we double a the values of x1 and x2 are going to be half the size they are here. Now it's time for some MATLAB demonstrations. It's going to involve some methods to solve AX equals Y in the MATLAB workspace using an M file and also using the MATLAB function FSolve. And somewhere in the, along the line, I need to create a folder on my computer where I store various M files. And I also need to set the path to this folder so that MATLAB can find them. Now I'm going to turn to MATLAB. Here we have a clean command window. And to solve AX equals Y, as defined earlier, I write A equals 3 and 4, 1 minus 1, that is A, and Y was 10 and 2, and then we get the solution as the inverse of A times Y. We recognize the numbers. Another way to write this is S X equals A divided by Y. The same result. The disadvantage you, by using this in workspace is that the work disappears as soon as you, as you close down your computer. So therefore I'm going to document this these steps in an M file instead. First thing I'll do is that I'll clear my command window to make that clean. Thereafter, I'm going to create an M file where I write my coefficients again. That was A, and then we have the Y. 10 and 2. And then we have the actual calculation. Now I need to save this. And I'll save it on my desktop in a new folder called Demos. And I will call this M file Demo 1. 
and I can safely close the M file window. And now I need to set the path. And I add a folder to my path, and I, that is on the desktop, and I find demos, and I open that, which means that I add it to the path for MATLAB. And I hide it, and I simply write demo1, and the instructions in the M file are performed. Now I'm going back to my presentation. Another strategy is to use a numerical root finding solution method. And the appropriate function for that in MATLAB is called FSOL. The equation system AX equals Y may be rewritten as 0 equals AX minus Y. Solving this equation means that we find an X equals X1 and X2 so that an F defined as f equals ax minus y becomes very, very small. With the numerical solution function that MATLAB has, fsolve, we need to provide a guess of what x is. I will call that x0. We need to provide one guess for x1 and one guess for x2. I will show how this is performed in MATLAB. Then I will create a new M file. And in this case, we need to define a function. A function is something where you insert one, one value and get another value out of it. And the function in this case is f, because that is what we need to calculate. And I will call this M file demo2 and it will have an input, and that is the x. First, I define the various coefficients. The coefficient matrix, like this, and also the right-hand side of the equation. And as stated before, f is defined as a x minus y. So what's going to happen in MATLAB is that MATLAB is going to provide this function with an x and the and f will be calculated and the, the f will be checked to see if it is very small. If it is very small, then the solution has been found. So I will save this as demo2. In, my, in the appropriate folder, which is Demos. I can safely close this window. And I use the MATLAB function fsolve. I say that the function is in Demo2. And the initial guess is 1 and 1. I could have taken 10 and 10 or 0 and 0, but I just use 1 and 1 since it always works. And here we find the solution again, done with a numerical method rather than a more straightforward methodology. Now we will turn to nonlinear equation systems. Here we have one example. 3x1 plus 4x2 squared equals 10. That is the first equation, and the second equation is x cubed minus x2 equals 2. This can also be written on the form ax equals y, where the coefficient matrix, the first row, is 3 and 4x2, while the second equation is represented as 1x squared minus 1. And the variables are x1 and x2, and the right-hand side of the equation is 10 and 2. So, in the coefficient matrix, we actually have the, the variables. So now we're back into MATLAB. The first thing we do is to create an M file, creating the function that contains the definition of the equation system. And we call this demo3, and it will need an x as input, as argument. 
Now, I define my coefficients as 3 and 4 times x2 and the second row is x1 squared and minus 1 y is 10 and 2 just as before with an extra bracket right there and f is defined as a times x minus y. So what's going to happen is that an x is going to be provided and f is going to be calculated and when f is small MATLAB is done and will represent x. I save this file as demo3 in the correct folder demos folder like this I close my M file and use F solve with demo 3 remembering to provide a guess of what x1 and x2 actually are and here we get the result for x1 and x2 we have not now done the following. We have looked at systems of linear algebraic equations in matrix notation, AX equals Y. And after analytical solution, solutions, we looked at numerical solutions. We've been through MATLAB demonstrations using MATLAB in workspace, M files for solving equations, and also using the F solve function in MATLAB. And f the final thing, was to look at nonlinear algebraic equations, how to express them in matrix notation, and we've looked at the demonstration.